All right, I think I'm recording now. This is a quick video uh, to show how um, to manipulate Norton, especially the firewall, and how to reconfigure your um, intrusion signatures. And this, this is going to happen like if you're surfing a website or if you're surfing sort of like um, pages. Um, at a traffic exchange or whatever, and it has a timer on it, and the timer doesn't work. That means your firewall or antivirus is blocking it, and we have to let Norton know that it's okay, uh, we, it's safe to use, and it's just Norton is probably worse than any other software in the fact that it's too good. <laughs> so we, we have to work out how to do it. So anyway, if you if you got Norton, that's all I know. You uh, pop up, the, bring the pop up box here. Go to settings and go to firewall. And here you'll see intrusion signatures. If you go to configure, these are all the signatures that have been removed, or all the websites or URLs that have been removed from Norton. So what we need to do here, um, I actually sent a ticket into Frank at uh, Infinity Traffic Boost and asked, you know, what was going on. And he said that JS Coin Miner was the URL that we had to um, remove from this block list. So instead of going through all of them looking for JS Coin Miner, which is, you know, really tedious we just go up for a signature search so we go js coin miner and you'll see and then you just go and then you'll see they these are all the websites that i've looked at well and more there's more but when i went in to configure this a few weeks back um, this is what was there. So all I did was just unclick them all. They'll all be blue crosses. So just unclick them all and then um, apply it and okay it. And um, you really should be good to go. Um, that's all I did and I was, I was able to surf to my heart's content. So I really hope this helps. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about um, how to reconfigure intrusion signatures. So bye for now.